What's good with y'all boys? You already know it's one dog coming at you yet another video. And before we start this video, man, all praise is due to the most high. Make sure you guys send him your glory and your praise, you know. Without him, none of this is possible. Also, man, subscribe to the homie Sins World. And make sure you guys like the video. That's all y'all gotta do, man. All y'all gotta do is like the video. It's gonna help out the channel a lot. It's gonna help the channel grow in progress. So what's good with y'all? Now look, I got an interesting comment in uh, one of my last videos about the body game. And it made a lot of sense, man. It was just basically saying that, um, you know, talk about colorism in the black community and stuff like that. You know how light-skinned people are treated treated differently from dark-skinned people and dark-skinned treated differently from light. And um, I feel like this was, a, you know what I'm saying, a definitely an important topic because, you know, me, myself, of course, you know, y'all can just tell, you know, I'm sure when he commented that he knew off the rip, I was going to be able to, you know, speak my opinion on it because I definitely got some experiences and I definitely got, you know, some wisdom on it myself. But yeah, colorism, man, in the black community, see, we get things twisted. We think, oh, it's the black and white. Oh, you know, it's black, this, black, that, you know, but we seem to forget that colorism is worse it's worse in the black community yes it's worse in the black community if you are not under a log if you ain't in the house all day if you actually go out and experience life you will understand that colorism in the black community man and this is think about this colorism in the black community man comes with dating all type of things man social proof it is extremely extremely you know what i'm saying all in this community and we're gonna get into it man we're gonna get into it this ain't nothing but a freestyle video but i have a lot to say so me myself i'm a light-skinned man you know and being light-skinned i have to admit this you know when you are lighter skin you are viewed as looking better you are viewed as you know oh they this they that you know because we are like in between from, you know, the white, but that's a whole nother topic. But when you are light skinned, man, typically, you know, people are going to view you as better looking, etc. a pretty boy, whatever. And, you know, when you are dark skinned, you're not going to be viewed ugly at all. You're going to be viewed, you know, as chocolate and you're going to attract a certain type of women. See. We don't get into stuff like this, man, because, you know, a lot of times people don't want to speak on it, man. They want to they don't want to speak on things that goes deep. You know, they don't want to speak on that. But for instance, man, you can see a light skinned woman. You can see a dark skinned girl and your mind is going to say that light skinned girl looks better, you know, and you are going to kind of downplay the dark skinned girls. Look, but dark skin typically have, you know, a greater bodybuilding light skin i'm gonna say sometimes but for the most part you know this is getting the looks right now when you look at a light-skinned woman you look at a dark-skinned woman then nine times out of ten you're gonna think that the light-skinned woman looks better just what it is just like if you look at a light-skinned man and dark-skinned man you're gonna be saying oh you know he looks better dark-skinned man looks good but not as good as him you know colorism is extremely important some women black women won't even go for light-skinned men because he's light-skinned some women won't go for dark-skinned men because he's dark-skinned it goes deep man it goes deep so i'm gonna tell you this you know what i'm saying some of my experience is that me i typically bond better with dark darker skinned women brown skinned women because i'm light-skinned i'm lighter skinned you know i don't know why that is but it's just what it is with light-skinned women you know we coexist but you know it's never that connection it's nowhere near a connection like it would be with a dark skin or a brown woman it, it's not even close man in my opinion guys light-skinned women don't even like light-skinned men you know so before i was really interrupted like i was saying light-skinned women and light-skinned men they don't really mesh like that just like dark-skinned men and dark-skinned women don't really match like that now in some cases it happens but me growing up, what I've seen in my experience, I've seen, you know, long term relationships with light skin, dark skin, you know, dark skin, light skin. I don't listen. I've seen in plenty of relationships that I've been in 
where I've been in a relationship with a light skin girl and it did not work out at all. And you know what ended up happening? After me, she ended up getting with a dark skin dude. It was almost as if, this is just me studying, man. This is me at a young age. You know what I'm saying? This is me at a young, young age. I'm talking about 15. You know, 15, 14, 16. This is just me studying, you know, what they do afterwards. And so, you know, they might be with me, but afterwards, you know, they don't work out. Then they go back to a dark skin dude. So I've never really had a successful light skin girl relationship. You know, I've never had one, but with dark skin, brown skin, hey, they treat me like a king. You know what I'm saying? So the same thing might be for you if you're a dark skin man. You know, you might deal with dark skin, you know, you darker brown or women, but it never works out like that. But you get with a light skinned woman and it's like, damn, where have you been all my life? You know what I'm saying? So colorism is very important. You know, it, it is extreme. You know, it's it's hyper color. I might as well call it hyper -color colorism because I'm telling you this, man. Y'all don't understand that black people are more colorist than white people. You know, you just can't see it. Light skin versus dark skin will forever be an argument. It will forever be an argument, a duel, whatever you want to call it, because it's just people preferences, man. People preferences, they try to put that into stuff, and then there comes colorism. So I'm telling you this, man, you a light-skinned person, you're going to experience different treatment, you know? People are going to treat you a lot differently than they would a dark-skinned man. I'm telling you, it's the same thing with a dark-skinned man. They might treat you more, I'm going to say this, with light-skinned people, they, ten, they tend to treat you you know in a more respectable manner and if you are dark skin they tend to you know kind of racially profile you a lot stronger but you know this is what happens you know i'm not sitting here trying to be biased towards one color i'm just telling you what goes on you know this does happen but i'm telling you this man in relationships you know just in general you got to be aware of this man because the dynamic of colorism in the black community is extreme man it's extreme. Just go around, get to talking to people, man. Get to talking to people. And they'll just be telling you, you know, out their own mouth. And this is me personally. Me specifically, us men, us black men, we are not, you know, coloristic. It's more so of the female counterpart, you know, when it comes to this colorism stuff. You know, we tend to be, you know, just put in categories, light skin, dark skin. Women made that, not us men. You know what I'm saying? So colorism to be honest with you it really refers to the women you know in this in this sort of sort of spectrum because me personally man like i'm gonna be real with you you know men us men we will take you know who wants us so i'm gonna say that but um you know if a light-skinned woman want me i'm gonna take her you know what i'm saying just like if a dark-skinned woman i'm gonna take her women you know they tend to be more coloristic you know they want this dark skin dude or want this light skin dude and also i'm gonna say this with women they tend to hate black women you know they try to shun you know the darker skin women they they want to kind of uplift the lighter skin that's why you see in um in certain social media bases that's why you see a lot of people try to use filters that make their skin lighter you know they try to use makeup to make their skin super light all type of stuff man you even see some you know black entertainers but i really don't even try to trip about those people like that because they the scum of the earth in my opinion but i'm gonna just say this if you notice a lot of them they tend to get plastic surgery and a lighten their skin up a lighten the pigments of their skin up you know what i'm saying so there's definitely a serious colorism issue up in the black community man and i'm telling this right now this is just me telling y'all you know giving y'all a fair heads up fair warning if you are a light-skinned man, look forward to darker-skinned, brown-skinned women. And if you are dark-skinned man, look forward to, you know, lighter-skinned women. It's just like the yin and the yang, you feel me? Like, it just goes together. But, you know, there are some instances where you're going to have light skin on light skin, dark skin on dark skin. It happens. But I'm just telling y'all this, and y'all know I'm not cap. Y'all know I'm not cap. You know what I'm saying? So, we, matter of fact, we're going to get even deeper. And on this handsome men's game, man, on this handsome men's game, I see a lot of people coming and saying, oh, women's going to think you look too good. Or, oh, a women's going to be like, oh, you're a pretty boy. No, you can't be taking up the spotlight while you with me. You know what I'm saying? A lot of men in my comments say that. They be like, oh, you know, a woman doesn't want a man who looks better than her. You know, et cetera, et cetera. The only women who say that, the only women who truly, in my opinion, are just that insecure about, you know, who looks better in a damn relationship. Most of the time, it be light-skinned girls. Most of the time. I'm telling you this what I know. 
y'all know I'm not cap. Comment down in the comment section. Most of the time, it be light-skinned girls that do that BS. Anytime I done heard a smart remark, you know, something like that, of, oh, you think you too pretty, pretty boy, whatever the hell it may be, a light-skinned girl done told me that BS. You know? Light-skinned girl done told me that BS. So, understand that, man. Understand that, you know? Know the colorism that's going on in the black community, dog. Ain't nothing changed, you know? This happens a lot. People, some blacks prefer light, some blacks some blacks prefer dark you know and brown skin we put them in in between you know we put them in between because they can coexist with either but i'm telling y'all this man colorism is real you know what i'm saying especially in the black community so if you guys did enjoy this video this is something new make sure you hit that like button also subscribe if you're new comment down below to know this thing about this topic and i'm out y'all